Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Kevin Kwan. Welcome back to another episode of Taste of Asian Food. Today, I'm going to show you how to prepare a Malaysian-style soy sauce beef. In our language, we call it daging masa kicap. This recipe is unique because of two reasons. First, we use kicap manis, that is sweet soy sauce, instead of the normal light soy sauce to cook it. Secondly, it involves the use of traditional Malay spices, that is the cinnamon, star anise, cardamoms, and cloves. Without further delay, let me show you how to do it. Cut the beef into thick slices across the grain. This is rum. There's no need to use the top quality cuts such as loin because braising will tenderize the cheaper cuts. Next, add some ground turmeric, some ground coriander, some salt, and a tablespoon of sweet soy sauce. Mix well to marinate. While marinating the beef, we can proceed to prepare other ingredients. Next, we need to prepare some aromatic ingredients. I have one onion chopped into chunks, some garlic, and one inch of ginger also chopped into small chunks. We also need some chilies. I'm going to uh, chop this chili into small pieces. If you are able to get the store-bought chili paste, you can use that instead of fresh chilies. If you do not want it to be too spicy, you can remove the seeds, or if not, you can just leave them there. Let me transfer all these ingredients to an electric blender. Add a few tablespoons of water to facilitate blending. After blending, it looks like that. It becomes a paste. Before I cook the beef, let's prepare a few more ingredients. These are the dry spices I need for this recipe. These are also common spices for most Malay cooking. Cloves, cardamom, star anise, cinnamon. Besides that, we also need some onion rings, some coriander, reserve the leaves to garnish, and chop the remainder into short sections. I also include a few bird's eye chili for extra spiciness. We have completed all the preparation, so now we can start cooking. Add some oil to a hot wok or pan. Add the blended ingredients and cook until it becomes aromatic and all the water evaporates. After a few minutes, most of the water that we added to facilitate blending has already evaporated and now we can start to smell uh, the aroma rising from the wok. It's time to add the dry spices. Mix the marinated beef with the spice paste in the wok. Then add the seasonings. Of course, the major component is the sweet soy sauce. Okay. And a little bit of oyster sauce. Just a little bit. Okay. Some ground pepper. And then sufficient water to cook the beef. Okay. 
When it starts to boil, turn down the heat and let it simmer until the beef becomes tender. Also get one lemon grass and use only the middle part. Bash the lemon grass so that it can release the flavor easily. Then add to the beef. The liquid has already reduced to become a, a thick gravy and the beef has now become soft. So now it's time to add the remaining ingredients to complete the cooking. A few more chilies since I want it to be more spicy. And the onion rings. The chopped coriander. Let it cook for a few more minutes. Do a taste test to see if I need to add some more soy sauce or other seasonings. I prefer to add a little bit more sweet soy sauce. The Dage Masa Kichap the Malay style sweet soy sauce beef is done. That's how to make Daging Masa Kichap, the Malaysian style soy sauce beef, and I hope you'll love it. I've added the recipe in the description below the video. And remember, please subscribe, tap the notification, and give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you again in some other similar video soon. Bye for now.